Get ready to dive deep into the new Xbox One experience. Hey guys, Sakori here for Gizmo. Today we're going to be showing you guys the brand new Xbox One experience. This is a huge update that features backwards compatibility and a whole new vertical scrolling design. Jumping down to a whole new section is as simple as tapping the trigger button. The My Stuff section is a perfect place for all your pinned apps. So we're going to take you through each section on the new update and go through every page and show you what's new. Moving over to the community section, this is basically your feed of all your friends, posts, videos, achievements, all that good stuff you can see that your friends are doing and you can interact with them and like them, comment them, all that good stuff. This is also where you can easily share something right from your Xbox. The One Guide has been completely revamped and it looks pretty awesome. You have a lot of featured content. If you have your connected apps like Hulu or Netflix, you can really see what shows they're featuring and showcasing. Same with YouTube and Amazon. So you get some really cool curated featured content all in one place. The game section features a whole bunch of different content like new releases and top rated. There will also be some deals that pop up along the way. The game store is very attractive and it makes it very simple to purchase digital games. The game page has been slightly tweaked instead of going left and right you're going up and down to browse the content within the game. Moving over to your apps there's a bunch of different content you could download to your Xbox One. It's definitely a must if you want your Hulu and Netflix on. The movies and TV section is organized nicely just like the game so it makes it really simple to find what you want. And if you want to get into the groove the music section with Microsoft Groove has a really great interface for playing music. You'll be able to have a game and some apps run in the background as you play. And you can see here I have Star Wars running right now and I'll be able to open up, uh, let's say, Netflix and here pick up right where we left off. Now the newest feature here is a quick menu which you can access by double clicking on the Xbox Home button. Here you'll be able to start a party, see all your friends online, invite them, join, and never have to leave your game. You'll also be able to read your messages, check notifications, and find some quick settings as well. Just like before, you could use the snap and unsnap feature on the Xbox One, which is really great for certain apps. The profile page also gets a revamp where you could access your feed, where you post all your content. You could see all your different achievements. Using the right trigger, you could jump down page by page, which makes it really simple. All of your achievements are organized nicely, and you can get a great view of what all your friends are up to. Your captures are organized in a nice grid, and again, you can use that trigger button to scroll through them really simply. Of course, you get a slew of gamer picks, and you could also customize your avatar in new ways. The new Xbox One experience is a really great update so far. It's been running pretty Pretty smoothly and I've been streaming this to my Windows 10 device for this review. With Xbox 360 backwards compatibility, this update is the best one yet. What do you guys think of the new Xbox One experience? Leave your comment down below and don't forget to click that subscribe button. We've got a bunch more videos coming your way. Watch our awesome Hulk video and continued coverage on Xbox avatars.